So macOS 26 Tahoe has finally released their beta version, a free taste for the upcoming revamp of their operating system. I know you're eager to run it on your Hackintosh. It took me two days to figure out how to make this thing work. So I will be sharing how you can actually do it. I will be demonstrating with this ThinkPad T480 with Intel Core i5 8th generation processor and running Windows 11. Make a Google search for Opcore Simplify. It's been a while since the last time I made a video about this and it was improved over time. Download the latest version of Opcore Simplify. Extract the downloaded file afterwards. Now go inside the extracted folder, locate and run the opcore simplify.bat as an administrator. It will open a command prompt window. If this is your first time running opcore simplify, you need to install Python. Since I don't have it on this computer, I will let it download and install now. This is the crucial step. Type N, then enter on your keyboard. This will allow the Opcore to update its latest version. Since it's on active development, it's advisable to have it updated. Since we already updated it, this time type Y, then enter on your keyboard. Welcome to the main menu. To run the hardware sniffer, press 1 and then enter. This will download and execute the program on your computer, which will detect all hardware components and determine if your system is capable of running macOS. Press E then hit enter on your keyboard to start analyzing. This is the summary report for my laptop, indicating whether the hardware can run macOS. If you see any red indicators, especially for the GPU or processor, it means your machine cannot run macOS. For this laptop, the hardware is compatible and can support macOS up to the Tahoe version. Press enter to continue. I will be installing macOS Tahoe, type 25, then press enter. For the Wi-Fi driver, I will choose ITLWM, type 2, then hit enter. So far we are done with number 1 and 2, let's skip 3 and 4 since it's already pre-configured. Press 5 then enter for customization of the SM BIOS. If you have a processor that has 8th generation and below, you should pick MacBook Pro 16 and above, since Tahoe will run 9th generation and above. You can select from numbers 63, 64, or 66 then press enter afterwards. We are now ready to build the open core EFI folder, press six, then enter. This will proceed to download the necessary KEX or drivers, as well as the open core related configurations. When you're on this window that asks to scan the Wi-Fi, just press N, then enter. As for the codec audio, it's automatically selected by default according to your hardware, you can press enter. And here is your fresh EFI folder that you can use to run the install media. You can follow this tutorial on how to create a Tahoe install media USB and see you there.